In every battle, there comes a time when both sides consider themselves beaten, then he who continues the attack wins. There are but two parties now, traitors and patriots, and I want hereafter to be ranked with the latter and, I trust, the stronger party. The most confident critics are generally, those who know the least about the matter criticized. Cheap cigars come in handy, they stifle the odor of cheap politicians. The art of war is simple enough. Find out where your enemy is. Get at him as soon as you can. Strike him as hard as you can. And keep moving on. Hold fast to the Bible as the sheet anchor of your liberties. Write its precepts in your hearts. And practice them in your lives. The friend in my adversity I shall always cherish most. I can better trust those who help to relieve the gloom of my dark hours than those who are so ready to enjoy with me. The sunshine of my prosperity. As soon as slavery fired upon the flag it was felt, we all felt, even those who did not object to slaves that slavery must be destroyed. We felt that it was a stain to the union that men should be bought and sold like cattle. Although a soldier by profession, I have never felt any sort of fondness for war, and I have never advocated it, except as a means of peace. Wars produce many stories of fiction, some of which are told until they are believed to be true. God gave us Lincoln and Liberty, let us fight for both. Nations, like individuals, are punished for their transgressions. The will of the people is the best law. Two commanders on the same field are always one too many. Quit thinking about what Bobby Lee's gonna do to us and start thinking about what we're going to do to him. Hold fast to the Bible. To the influence of this book we are indebted for all the progress made in true civilization and to this we must look as our guide in the future. The fact is I think I am a verb instead of a personal pronoun. A verb is anything that signifies to be, to do, or to suffer. I signify all three. I know only two tunes, one of them is Yankee Doodle and the other isn't. I will not move my army without onions. There are but few important events in the affairs of men, brought about by their own choice. Our great modern republic. May those who seek the blessings of its institutions and the protection of its flag remember the obligations they impose. If you see the president, tell him for me that whatever happens there will be no turning back. I have never advocated war, except as a means of peace. Labor disgraces no man. Unfortunately, you occasionally find men who disgrace labor. It will be all right if it turns out all right. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war and slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. It is men who wait to be selected, and not those who seek, 
from whom we may expect the most efficient service. I never wanted to get out of a place, as much as I did to get out of the presidency. It does look like a very good exercise. But what is the little white ball for? There never was a time when, in my opinion, some way could not be found to prevent the drawing of the sword. Let no guilty man escape, if it can he avoid it. No personal consideration should stand in the way of performing a public duty. Venice would be a fine city, if it were only drained. No other terms than unconditional and immediate surrender. I propose to move immediately upon your works. I know no method to secure the repeal of bad or obnoxious laws, so effective as their stringent execution. The friend in my adversity, I shall always cherish most. I never knew what to do with the paper, except to put it in a side pocket or pass it to a clerk who understood it better than I did. I only knew what was in my mind, and I wished to express it clearly. There is nothing more I should do to it now, and therefore I am not likely to be more ready to go than at this moment.